Yo, OG players, does this Amazon's gear look familiar to you? How about now? Well, we are a little far away. Maybe now with a closer look? Now on Diablo 2 Resurrected, this gear doesn't look at the same as an iconic as it did in old school Diablo 2. Alrighty, now that look probably looks real familiar to the OG players that used to play Diablo 2 back in the early 2000s. Do you know what this is? This is what the perfect Boazan looked like in Diablo 2 back in like 2001, 2002, right around there. That's right around the time that I personally started playing. Now these type of videos are always fun for me and nostalgic look back at the way things used to be in old school Diablo 2. So here I'm going to show you the gear on what if you had a perfectly legit character back in the day and I don't actually have examples of them like on hand but I'm going to pull up pictures of the hacked and glitched items that you would use on these characters to make them so incredibly godly. Now we'll just jump right into it. The first thing, this was the literal most valuable item in the entire game. It would cost probably 40 SOJs on eBay. These were going for hundreds of dollars back then. And that's the good old wind force now with the overpowered rune words. And since the Boazon is not as good now as it was then, this item is not worth nearly as much now. It's still incredibly rare for Boazons. It's sought after, but not like it was because Boazons absolutely slapped everything in the game bar none they were so incredibly powerful back then moving up to the helmet you always seen that green looking helmet and it was so iconic back then and that is the vamp gaze with that damage reduction and the leeches on it and stuff like that you almost didn't see anything else maybe if you had more budget stuff you would see things like the elk helm and things like that but the vamp gaze was common enough that pretty much everyone could get their hands on it and uh, it really did add pretty much anything that you needed here onto your Amazon. So real quick, I want to take a second to shout out the other three channels that I have that I put videos up on. The first one is the Philcast. It is actually its own dedicated channel specifically just for the Philcast, which is a podcast I do with other Diablo 2 content creators. In the future, I'm hoping to branch out to all other different kinds of people. But for right now, I'm kind of sticking to other Diablo 2 content creators. The other channel I got is Sweet Phil Clips, which where I post all different types of little clips that maybe wouldn't fit exactly on my main channel. But the main purpose of that channel is to take small bite-sized chunks of the fill cast maybe you want to only pick and choose little bits of the podcast that i do you don't want to listen to a whole three-hour podcast you can look at individual short clips on that channel and kind of pick and choose what you want to watch and then my third channel sweet Phil media is where i do different types of content creation and video editing type stuff so if you're ever thinking about doing your own type of youtube videos or streaming or anything like that make sure you give that one a subscription as well and once again i will mention links in the description to all three of those channels I'll move over to the amulet and a lot of times you would have rare amulets that had two to skills not like that it is now but back then you could actually find amulets that had two to a character skill just all over the place you'd find them really in cows i'd find them all the time so everybody had rare amulets they were super easy to get your hands on with two to skills so this isn't the best 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 example but here is the uh, two to Amazon skill one that I actually had found directly off of Bale at one point, or possibly I gambled it. But back in the day, like I said, you could find these all over the place in Hell Difficulty. Now for the Boazon specifically, um, I believe it was Atma's Scarab was used a lot because you could get amp damage when you on striking. So that was another option to throw up here for an even better character amp damage, obviously boosting up the amount of damage that your character is putting out. Onto the armor, some people might recognize it. This is the shaft stop. This is more damage reduction and life heal, so you would definitely eliminate any ways of getting hurt. You didn't have things like Enigma or any of those overpowered rune words that are out now because back then just the uniques were used all the time. They didn't introduce those rune words yet. So shaft stop was what they ended up using as the body armor. This is where some of the hacked and glitched items could come in because if you were going to use certain hacked items, there's actually a bunch of different things called Ith items. So you could actually get Ith armor that would then have jewels plugged into it to have a ton of enhanced damage and increased attack speed and things like that. So I got my hands on a few of those, but Shaft Stop was really the most common one used down here because you could find it all over the place. So I will jump back to the bow because I did forget to mention some of the other options. Uh, the Burrs was used all the time. The Eagle Horn was used somewhat. But also there was a thing with Guided Arrow to where it would go back and forth through monsters forever if you use Guided Arrow. So you could take out individual monsters super quick with that. Uh, and with the Pierce, when you'd shoot out the multi-shot, it would just go through everything and just wreck everything. So the Burst was used a lot too. But 
Like I said, there's a ton of ith items. Ith bows were very popular. There was actually one that was made and then duped to Kingdom Come. The, the great cork or the amazing cork. I'm going to hopefully pull up and find a picture of that. If not, I'll just get a picture of a regular ith bow. But same as, like I said, with the armor. You can go ahead and plug a bunch of ton of jewels in there or runes and things like that. And they would really soup these things up. Move down to the gloves. Uh, boa, increased attack speed, and this, this is actually dual leech gloves. These are actually pretty sick for a boa's on like this. That way you wouldn't have to get your leech from your amulet or your rings or anything like that, depending on what other gear that you did have. So here is uh, just a good example. A lot of times uh, I've seen lava gout would be used a lot, uh, but they have the increased attack speed on it. But uh, I use those sometimes. It depended on what was going on, but this is another place where another glitched slash hacked item would be used a lot depending on what realm you're in because i believe i remember hearing these were only in us west but there were white gloves and they had a crazy insane amount of attack speed i believe they had some strength and decks and stuff like that on it too i'll throw up a picture here because i know i can find one of those and these were uh, so incredibly powerful uh you're don't even really need all the increased attack speed you'd, you'd end up having if you had all these glitched and hacked items on at one time but they were pretty pretty wild to have now we're gonna move over to rings just like if you're going 100 legit maybe you got a rare ring and maybe you got a raven frost over here a couple of rare rings and the kind of the same stuff as now you know bk's sojs and things like that this is another place where if you had hacked items you were absolutely bananas because just like the white gloves there were white rings same thing a ton of increased attack speed and a bunch of other stuff they had like 20 percent life leech or a bunch of things like that take a look at this ring here it's obvious this is super glitched or super hacked out because nothing could possibly be that powerful also like the white rings and the white gloves their names are just white that's where the name comes from kind of kind of goofy how they ended up making them like that but there are white rings if you're going for that glitched or hacked out character back then Moving down to the belt, uh, similar to now, you got Razor Tail. Uh, there's a ton of other bazillion little options. Same as uh, the kind of budget options now. Uh, they're actually, the belt options are pretty similar to what they would be nowadays, is what I was trying to say. We got the Razor Tail. We've got String of Ears. Maybe uh, throwing on a T-Gods or something like that. A lot of the exact same stuff on the belt. The belt has not changed. They're, from what I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, down in the comments, but there wasn't a ton of like glitched and hacked items that I ever personally had. Maybe they just weren't on the realm I was playing on at the time. So we'll jump over boots. Uh, that was another place. There were ones that were actually, uh, I, I don't know if they're glitched or hacked, but they were actually called Imp Shanks and they had a ton of res and everybody had the same rare boots. So I'm guessing they were just a super, super good pair of rare boots that were duped up. But everyone used uh, those if you could get your hands on them. Whatever the best rare boots for the legit player, such as the ones that I have found right here. Uh, for this character now uh other things for boots i remember i used water walks a ton but i it might have best been because that's all i can get my hands on for boots but uh, they definitely had life you know water walks got the life on them and a lot of the same uniques and rare stuff nowadays was what went for the boots with the exception of that one particular duped set of boots there weren't any other super glitch and hack ones that i can recall and then inventory, obviously there were not torches and annies back then, so you throw some skillers down here, you throw some life stuff, if you're doing it completely legit, or maybe some magic find. But, here's a spot where if you're not doing it legit, you can make your character crazy, insane powerful. Down here there was actually a charm called Hex Charms. These things had 90 vitality, 90 to strength, and 90 to dexterity. And I definitely know I'll throw a picture up right over here. They were absolutely bananas. You'd fill your entire inventory with it if you could get them. They were way worth way more than these bow skillers, so you just slap those out of there. They did also have energy ones. Uh, nowadays, I can't seem to find any example of pictures of them for whatever reason, but I do. I know for a fact they used to run a scam where they'd say, hey, I'll give you two hex charms for something. They'd throw them in the thing and into the trade window, and then they'd be like, hey, oh, I gotta make room, and they'd run over and come back, and then they'd throw the energy ones in because the energy ones were worth like one fifth of the vitality ones that's an estimation i don't remember exactly but they were not worth as much and they would try to scam you with it but the vitality ones were way more sought after obviously you need the life for survivability if you're pvp in with uh glitched out and hacked items and you just want to be the most powerful as you can you need more vitality for sure if you look at the uh, mercenary i'll be honest back in the day i never ever used a mercenary so while i do have one over here 
Um, I actually, back in the day, your characters were so powerful and you killed stuff so fast, you literally never used a mercenary. So you looked like right here, you, you'd see every single Amazon in every single game had this green helmet. We'll switch to the old one, even though it is mildly painful to look at nowadays. Every single Amazon looked like this with the black armor, with the gold shoulders and the green helmet. And then it would just be, did you have the bow or did you have the javelins? That's the thing. If you were a javazon instead of a boazon, that's what you would end up having. So I'll just go ahead and throw up some pictures real quick. Now, the uh, javelins, Titans Revenge, that's what you were rocking back then. Every single person had these. And usually on the other side, you were using a storm shield or perhaps a lidless. Now, remember, there was not a spirit back then, so you would either get the survivability from the Storm Shield, but if you're a poor person and you couldn't quite afford to get that one, you would go with your Lidless, get that one to skill, you get mana after kill. It was mega helpful on those Javazons, and every, all the other gear was pretty much identical. You would just swap that out. Now, we'll show you like the build type stuff, whether it's the stats or the skills, but just know that I'm generally just showing you the skills because Things were a little bit different back then. There weren't all the same synergies here in, uh, I'm showing you in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So they actually changed some of the skills up and stuff like that. But I'll show you generally the stats and the skill distribution the way that it was back then. A lot of this is from memory. Finding old pictures of old skill trees and stuff like that is nearly impossible. But it's by my head is not super important. But you look right here. Ta-da! We've got uh, strength and dex to wear your gear in Max Vita. Not much has changed on that front. The resistances aren't really that important after you get a lot of the uh, stuff on. And I used a ton of these glitch type items back in the day. You never had to worry about survivability, literally ever. Looking at the skill tree, what it would be is over on passive magic, kind of similar to how you do any type of physical bow and now, except it was way better back then. Maybe you try to get down to pierce. I used to use Valk sometimes, but yeah, that, you don't really need that all that much. But multi-shot was the godly one back in the day you'd send out a whole volley of arrows and it would just drop everything instantly or just incredibly fast if you had all the hacked items they would drop instantly for sure and then guided arrow because like i was saying with the burrs or if you had a ton of pierce the guided arrow would just go back and forth and back and forth through monsters so you'd be hitting the monster with several guided arrows at the same time and they'd be dropping mega fast i never really seen any of the elemental bows back then it was just all physical multi-shot and guided arrow now do you remember playing any of these amazons back in the day head down in the comments and what are these glitch and hacked items did you have let me know let me know what character you want me to take a look at next from back in the day peace out fellas and don't forget keep slaying Ooh.